talk about design at Ford, we talk about something that we call in the design world the DNA. What is the DNA of Ford and how does it relate to the product? You look at the front end, a predominant grille. Of course, the grille, we took it up high, so it looks proud and strong. Also headlamps, if you notice, they're thin, they're elongated. They kind of sweep around the corner of the car, giving it a perceived efficient look. Perceived efficiency is about the car not only being fuel economy efficient, but also visually efficient. Cutting the access material, cutting the access weights. Wheels and tires, for example, they sit out, they're flush with the body. So the car sits planted on the road. It gives it the sure-footedness on the road. So it makes it look strong, it makes it look tough. One line I'm particularly happy with is the hood line. That hood line comes up into the A-pillar and then comes up, shoots back, giving the car in the side view a creative silhouette. It gives it a sense of uniqueness. And that's something that we strive for when we do a Ford product. If you look at the car in side view and you look at the lines, for example, this line here, this feature line goes through the rear, kind of moving upward as it comes toward the rear. It's also accentuated by this haunch. It's sort of like a, uh, uh, like a tiger, kind of ready to bounce. And it gives the car a really nice shoulder. One area that we tested several times in the wind tunnel is this corner here. This area is very important, especially this corner here, how tight this radius is and how sharp it is in plan view. This edge, this edge as well, and, and the wrap around in the corner here, all of these put together and combined in the right formula can make the car function better in the wind tunnel. And again, aerodynamics equate to better fuel efficiency. The design is, uh, is actually the tire on the rear that's covered, giving it a more of an urban, more of an SUV look. Another thing that is very important too, this car has a swing gate. A swing gate that opens sideways versus opening upward. Of course, as soon as you put a door, you gotta have a door handle. To put a door handle on the rear, it was gonna clutter the design. We wanted to streamline this. So we incorporated the door handle in the tail lamp, as you can see here. By the press of a button, you can open the door, and it opens sideways, so you have a lot of access from the, uh, from the, from the curb. And of course, you have a lot of space on the interior. Comfort and convenience and space symbolize the interior of the car. Another thing that's very important is how angled the instruments are. It's sort of like working on a computer or working on a keyboard of a computer or using a mouse. We actually have nine beverage holders. That of course on one door and the same on the other front door. That is four center console, three cup holders. And then on each rear door, a bottle holder. One other thing that I think is very important is underneath the passenger seat. That is a drawer that slides open and it can actually carry your laptop so you can stow it away right next to the rear seat. We actually added a uh, sort of a video game holder. We also incorporated a PowerPoint right in it as well. Be it for your phone or for your video game, your kid is sitting back here, he's playing his video game and then it goes out of power. Well, to recharge it, it doesn't need to give it to you because you're busy driving. So you hook it to the PowerPoint that we provided in the stowage space right next to him.